Hey guys, it's Noah Geek Apple here, and today I've got a Mac application review for you guys. This app is called Main Menu Pro, and pretty much allows you to maintain different sections of your Mac, starting from the hard drives, um, browsing, just a regular maintenance, optimization in the memory, trash, custom task settings, system clean, processes, and clipboard. And it pretty much covers every category that you can maintain your Mac in. For people who use your Mac a lot, like me, it is good once in a while to maintain your system. Let's start out by running through each one of these features. There's a home clean where it lets you either clean user cache, clean dashboard cache, archive desktop, clean Safari cache, clean Safari history, clear browser caches, clear browser history, remove .ds store files. There's also a volumes section where you can repair disk permissions, secure erase free space, find large files, eject all volumes, and as you can see I can select which hard drive or memory card I have put into my Mac and um, select what kind of maintenance I'd like to perform for either one. Moving to the regular maintenance, there's all maintenance, daily maintenance, weekly maintenance, and monthly um, maintenance, and it pretty much just lets you um, run a basic maintenance. Um, it doesn't really tell you what exactly it's going to do, but um, it's sometimes just good to run it. There's no harm done to your system. There's also Optimize, where you can free memory, rebuild launch services, rebuild spotlight index, vacuum, um, Apple Mail Index, I'm not sure if that's a typo or not right there, update what is database, update locate database, and um, this is pretty much just to optimize the hardware you have in your system. Um, it may, like some systems may be corrupt if there's too many scripts running, such as the hard drive um, disk permissions, which is also a very important update to run once in a while on your hard drive and pretty much optimize free memory. Maybe it just removes or closes unnecessary applications that you may not be using or background tasks running that um, are invisible. There's also the trash where you could source delete files, secure delete files, force delete files, secure empty trash, force empty trash, secure empty all trash, force empty all trash, remove DS store files in the folder. And pretty much what this means is to secure delete files is delete files that can be deleted um, that you could select one or, or the other and some of them sometimes when you have to try to um, empty your trash it gives you the message saying that this application is currently running would you still like to delete it um, or it doesn't let you delete it um, so pretty much just allows you to actually just force delete it such as a force quit utility on the Apple logo on the top but this is just for the trash if you're hoping to clear something and Apple isn't letting you or the operating system isn't letting you there's also the clipboard where it shows what stuff is copied to your clipboard and all you need to do if you want to is just click clear history and there will be nothing on your clipboard. Um, as you can see it gives you the growl notification on the corner, task completed. And there's also another thing where actually you can um, restart your Wi-Fi, relaunch finder, relaunch dock, um, relaunch just a menu bar, pretty much just refreshing some stuff such as the menu bar on the top, the dock on the bottom, and restarting or reestablishing a connection to your Wi-Fi network. There's also the system clean, where you can clean system cache, clean all users cache, clean font cache, flush DNS cache, clean all logs, archive logs, and you guys may not know what this means. I'm not too sure either, but I think it's just clean, clean up the history of the scripts of um, what you've been running on your system. So most of the time, for most of you, you won't really need to know that so it's good just to regularly clean it free up some memory and overall have your um, system running more smoothly there's also settings remove corrupt pres preferences hide invisible files enable dashboard enable download warnings screen file format um, as you know usually when you take a screenshot it wants it changes it to PNG or it takes it in PNG and if you want it to be in a different file format such as a PDF, TIFF, or P JPEG, which is probably most common, I decided to switch to JPEG, you can do that. You can also turn on your screensaver, um, disable screenshot shadow, and yeah. There's also custom tabs, tasks, where you can actually run your own tasks. Um, if you want, all you need to do is click that button and you can choose what kind of task you want to build, which regular maintenance you want to run, um, such as volumes, I'll maybe regularly want to run repair disk permissions, home clean, whatever. And I can just select what I would like to um, add to my custom task. And whenever I need to, I just need to click the custom task and it'll run all the selected maintenance things I have selected. Um, also, it is also very good to restart after you've run all the maintenance. And I usually run the maintenance on a daily to 
um, weekly basis because I do use my computer quite often. It doesn't hurt to use it, but um, for most of you, probably a schedule maintenance every week to a month would help. But in the case of you using it quite often, I think it's great to run the maintenance every so often after you've performed quite a bit of rendering, some hard drive tasks, and so on, whatever you guys may be doing. And finally, let's go ahead and just check out some of the preferences. On login, start main menu automatically, you can do that. High status icon, hide dock icon, um, show when task starts, hide when task completes, just some basic options over there. Um, authorization options, um, move to archive desktop files to desktop or wherever you want to put it. Um, volumes, large file size, sometimes it will scan for large file sizes in case you um, have something taking up a lot of space on your hard drive that you want to find out what it is and take it out. You can set the size that you want to recognize in. Custom tasks, once again you can configure that. Updates, and it goes ahead and just checks automatically for updates and will notify you when you when there's an update available for this application. So overall this application has everything I've needed or everything I'm looking for um, and overall has been very very helpful for me. You can go ahead and try this app out for 15 days I believe and to purchase it is very very cheap actually. For a single user it's $19 and for a family pack is $29 and believe it or not it lets you install Main Menu Pro on up to 5 Mac computers in your household so I definitely think that's a great deal. Concerning all that it can do, it's a dream of an application, and overall, one last thing is that this application mainly runs on the taskbar, actually. This is just an icon if you need it, but most of the time, you'll, you'll be running the maintenance on the top here, where it says Home Clean, and you can just go ahead and select from the drop-down menu what you'd like to run for maintenance, but for me, I like to just run the tasks and set what I'd like to run. Most of the time, I'll run a full-on maintenance, which... Sometimes it may take long, especially the secure erase um, empty space on your hard drive, the free space. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I hope you like this app. I definitely have to recommend this. This is one of my favorite applications I've ever used in terms of utilities for a Mac. Sorry about the length of this video. I'll see you in my next one.